You know, when Adam saw Eve, oh my goodness, he didn't say, mm, uh, she's fine, no, she's fine, but she's not the best. No, she, I, I, I was like, that. if, if it is an Igbo bad, you like, hey, I'm Chalukum, hey, oh, Tara, I don't know how to say it, eh, my sweet potato, tomato juice, ah, ah, see, baby, see, sweet, like, he saw her as the most beautiful thing on earth. again and again okay so your girl the love dispenser is back for you and for your listening and learning pleasure so i am here today good day my beautiful people plenty kisses to you and today i'm going to be talking about something very important okay um i'm going to be telling us a little story and i'll be talking from there so first off you know I love love, okay? I, I I love love and I love I love to see people do things right in marriages and relationships. I may not have all the wisdom in the world, but there's one thing for sure, whatever I learn and I just oppose it with the scriptures and know that that is a basic principle I would love to share. So hey, sit back and relax and listen to all I've got to say today. Okay, so um I have a friend, um, I have a friend um, who was planning to get married and uh, we, we got talking at some point, he's a guy, we got talking at some point and he was, he made a statement, you know, and that statement, he, he, he scattered my head. <laughs> so he was not like, eh, that eh, I was asking him about his, his partner then, how is she? what kind of person is she, uh, she is uh, how does she behave and all that character wise and all that so he said a lot of things but the one that scattered my head was the one that said um that she's not even fine safe that on a scale to on a scale of one to ten she's not even up to five i said eh, it's a guinea. you said what did you just say uh -uh. and you know it was it, it was during the period that this um saga it was really where someone on a social media big person name withheld came up and said his um, fiance is not a is not the most beautiful and all that and all that and all that and all that when I saw it I didn't really give a thought to it okay so many people were talking I didn't give a thought to it I just I said maybe maybe it's just one of these things you know people talk now on this uh, on social media but when my friend said it I was like eh okay so this is this is the same thing that happened that made people talk back at this other person. I was like, no, 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 you don't say that. Do you get? You don't say that first. Let me, let me, let me say this. As far as you are in a relationship, you choose to be in a relationship with someone. My dear, that person is the best. You know what I'll say? My husband is the best. Argue with your screen, uh, uh, with your, with your touch part. It's not my business now to my guys out there ladies are moved by what they hear okay that's why it looks like um um people just come flatter them and all that no as your as, as her spouse you're not flattering her you're trying to tell her that see baby all other people they are doing well but you are the best do you understand this is where this is how 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 you can imagine talking to your child and you say hey you're not the most brilliant you have killed that child do you understand? So let me tell you the implications of the kind of statement, that kind of statement we make. Now, first of all, the mind, whatever you say, the mind does not forget. And whatever you speak, your mind takes it and makes your body act in that way. Okay? And for the other receiving person, the person who receives, it goes straight to the mind and it makes her to act in such a way. Number one implication of that is that you make your spouse to lose self-esteem as a lady. Do you understand? You just, you can't, no, you can't. You can't tell her or tell the world that your wife is not the most beautiful. See, these kind of truths are relatable. 
let me tell you beauty is in the eyes of the beholder yes to another person your my wife might not be the most beautiful well to you or God, your wife is the most beautiful get that into your score I know some people were saying that oh, okay they don't mean it that way they don't mean it that way but yes yeah, so I understand that you might not mean it that way but you see those words that you say carry power okay there is a better way to say those kind of things do you understand you can come out and say eh, I don't I value what eh, I esteem what to um, physical looks and beauty okay but dragging your spouse into that conversation and bringing her seemingly lower than you should that's where the problem is I was telling my husband Amma, if you say that in outside that I'm not the most beautiful <laughs> trouble there is trouble because it is not the right thing to do you can imagine you know you know you know some things that we say let's let's be careful about the implication most times we don't think about the implication of what we say now you are you have told the world you probably you have told her so it's just like you are doing her a favor like please oh uh, it's not like you're the most beautiful but I decided to commit to you no that that it passed it passes the wrong message it passes the wrong message so that lady living within the house starts behaving in a way that you you don't even understand where it's coming from but you don't know that it's a word or a statement you said now I'm using this as a reference point because that is what we can hear but there are so many so many things you know spouses telling their wives you're fat you look ugly go and work on yourself you know those words get to us ladies and it brings us down it's the same thing the other way around when you tell your spouse who is a guy see the way you're looking kkk you your eye clothes are not iron no 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 please let's learn to use the right words to pass the right information you cannot pass the right information and be hurting people especially your spouse i don't i don't i don't buy into it so please let's be careful okay let's be careful you know another second implication is that when you start seeing your spouse as not the most beautiful it is a pathway to cheating you know? ah, it's a pathway to cheating because you are seeing her no she's not the most beautiful so that means you will not be able to control yourself when you see the most beautiful i don't know if you are getting me yeah so i i am feeling the arrows right now but the truth is that words make or mar people words make or mar people so start now to see your spouse as the most beautiful start now to see your spouse as the most handsome other people can argue with themselves but this is your spouse that's all that matters okay you know the the, the, the issues there eh, eh, the issues that to the guys ladies when we love you mm, when we love you you are all that matter after God so we want to hear you say that we are the most beautiful to you to another person it might not be the truth but to you you we are we are just all of it okay we are just all of you we look we look oh we look good and everything so please as a lady as a guy don't 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 even 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 if you don't say it don't start harboring that thought you know no my husband and my fiance is not he's not looking no he's not even handsome i just say i just say that you know they say we should commit we should commit you know let me just marry maybe he will get handsome by the way no no now you know most of you have heard my story about when i first met, uh, met my husband we met as friends i never liked him as per marriage as friends but when when god told me that this is my husband what the first thing i did was to ask god to help me love him so if you are dating a spouse that is god's will and that you don't like the first point of call is to ask god to help you do you know after the whole thing i said god help me to love this my husband i don't like fair guys i don't like slim guys i don't like i i like oh i i oh plenty plenty this i like this one, i like this i like so do you know that after i made that prayer and sincerely opened my heart to god that was how he became the best do you know now if i see those tall dark and handsome fat choppy i don't even like them anymore. <laughs> that's the truth though. the look, god god helps you to put your focus on your spouse he's the best 
regardless of how he is, he is the best. That is what you should sink in your head. Even before saying it out, whether on social media or telling somebody, she is the best that God has given. She is the best on earth. Others are doing well. They are doing beautiful. Clap for them. Oh, glory. But yours is the best. That is the mentality you need to have. You know, when Adam saw Eve, oh my goodness, he didn't say, mm, uh, she's fine, no. She's fine, but she's not the best. No, she. I, I, I was like, if, if it is a deep or bad, you like, hey, a chalukum, hey, on that ramen, don't have the thing. Eh, my sweet potato, tomato juice, ah ah, see baby, see sweet. Like he saw her as the most beautiful thing on earth. Not because other animals were ugly. Some animals are really beautiful. Like the peacock, very beautiful and graceful. Didn't he see that? He saw. But this is someone God created for him. Uh -uh, she has to be the best. So for that spouse that God has made for you, he has to be the best. Okay? So if you're trying to tell us about commitment, trying to teach us young ones, you know, that our marriage is all about commitment, not physical attraction, take Use another word. Don't drag your spouse into it. Don't drag your spouse. It, it has a very negative, negative, uh, what they call this, what's this word now? It has a negative effect. Okay? It has a negative effect. So we should learn to use the right words. Learn to use the right words. And like I said, when you start harboring those thoughts in your mind, it is a point at the end, the end of the road is cheating. Yes, he's cheating. So you can imagine now married to someone who is fine. Yeah, he's a fine guy. He's fair. He's slim. Do you get? And my mind is still, no, I don't really like slim people. I just married because of commitment. Because God said I should marry. That's why I'm married. But I'm still attracted to the uh, um, fat, chubby guys. Do you know that is a road to cheating? That is a road to promiscuity because when i see those fat chubby guys i might not be able to handle myself so i've heard people say hey yeah so i'm attracted to this kind of person but this kind of people but i'm married to this hey focus on your spouse focus on your spouse people focus on your husband focus on your partner focus on your wife you're engaged focus on your partner okay so god gives the strength to love and love everything yes yeah, so there are some people that are attracted to ladies who can talk you know have wisdom and all that you have to have self-control you are you are attracted to people that yes they can do this oh she knows how to dress make your wife to dress too make your wife to dress and in your mind tell yourself that my wife is the best so whatever you want her to do that will make you attracted to her help her do it she doesn't dress fine buy her nice clothes eh, 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 um what's it called now arrange the dresses for her thanks to god he makes us to marry our opposite so one person must know how to dress one person will know how to not to uh, combine it a little bit so if your wife is a type that don't really know how to and you want her to you know be be uh, um, right on track teach her do you understand make her to don't come and tell us that she's not the best dresser uncle she is the best dresser as far as you are concerned get that into your mind dear lady get it into your mind as far as as i am as i am now my husband is the best argue with your screen he's the best yes so he might not be getting some things right but in my eyes he is the best he's the best dresser you can ever think of he's the best husband you can i can never think of for you, he might not be fine, but for me, he is the best. Among others, he's the best. So that's the mentality you need to have, okay? That's the mentality you need to have. Please, let's stop all this. You know, I was so angry at that, my friend. I said, even Yusuf, you are not even stable financially. As she agreed to marry and you're saying this kind of thing. If she was there, would, she be, would you be proud enough to say that? Do you understand? How would she feel? Let's be careful. Let's be careful. So you don't make statements that we that we wait for you in future let's be careful and you, you understand there are some ladies that won't talk some guys that won't talk they'll just keep quiet so maybe in the future 15 years they start behaving you know you know that lady starts she just don't care about her looks again because of course you've told her that she's not the most beautiful so in her mind you'll be like what else will i do that will make me the most beautiful you've already said i'm not the most beautiful so let me just tell my day do you understand she'll just start dressing just just feel free and just be doing her things do you understand then she will not become 
she will not become you know you know whenever she sees you around a very pretty lady that maybe you like and to your taste she starts feeling less of herself see those words can can make or my people let's be careful let's be careful so like i said in the beginning if you are not attracted to who god says you should marry ask god ask god you see that overnight that lady that you saw yesterday that like oh that, that wow this morning she will be like oh an angel fell from heaven then finally see for the guys words make a lot of sense to a lady you can imagine probably i'm a guy and i tell my spouse that ah, or i tell somebody in front of my spouse that you're not the most beautiful ah, you're not the most beautiful i i just love you i decided i decided to make a commitment it's not like you're the most beautiful or anything i just decided to make a commitment to marry you and that lady goes to her office where her boss immediately she steps into the office her boss is raining praises on her whether it's fake or real you know the brain does not interpret fake or real applause it doesn't it doesn't <laughs> interpret something that is fake or real it just sends excitement to the brain i don't i've forgotten the hormone is sent to the brain you know that kind of thing just brings her ah, ah, see her an angel eh, eh, heaven lost an angel oh my goodness see how you are gracefully built this morning oh you know i, I appreciate her oh god just spoil her with so much words let me tell you if that lady is a believer she and that boss asks her on a date she will carry you as a husband to the date respecting you but she just wants to be in the company of that person so please let's learn to appreciate our spouse words of affirmation is a love language some people that's their love language but everybody loves a word of affirmation nobody thrives in negative environments with negative words do you understand so appreciate her appreciate her don't come out up and say your wife is like micheline she's fat she's this she's that even if she's fat you married her slim and now she become fat help her to get back to shape but hey she's the most beautiful even in that fat nature is it not first of all is it not a uh, uh, special all uh, the postpartum fat and all that is your baby she carried do you understand is your baby she carried so you have to learn to love love her make her who you who you want her to be do you understand make her who you want her to be if jesus has seen us like that he wouldn't have died for us you say eh, it's not like we are the perfect people but let me just die die for you because my father sent me no he saw us as the perfect people already that's why he came to die he already saw us. if not he wouldn't have gone through so many things that he went through maybe at some point like what is this is there a need for this but no he was just he just came in that multitude of his love he that's why god does not when and whenever we ask for mercy he blots out blot out our sins totally because of that extensive love so he doesn't see us as the Sandra of the past. He sees us as Sandra of the now. Okay? So please and please and please, men and brethren, your spouse is the best. Let every other person argue with their screen. Okay? Let's be careful with what we say. Let's be careful. Okay, that's that on this episode. Sorry, oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> that's that on this episode. God bless you. We'll see you another time. Remember, be careful with your words, okay?